Hey, if you want to learn how to turn a boring vacation photo into this or this, in this video, you will learn how to do it. I will also show you how to turn your photo into a cyberpunk hero. You will gain the necessary knowledge about Leonardo Canvas from zero to hero. If you're familiar with using Canvas, look at the description under the video where the chapters are prepared and you will definitely find something for yourself. Step one, overview of the Canvas panel. At the very beginning, I will show you how to download a photo. You do it in the panel on the left. It can be your photo, your neighbor's cat, or an image created by the community. Below, you have a download button for your masterpiece. On the top right, you can manipulate the zoom, but scrolling also works. Also on the right side, we have models that we can use. It is worth remembering that each model has its own specific trained style. At the bottom, next to the text field for prompts, we can also enter negative prompts, just like when generating images, which is definitely worth remembering because it is useful. Step two, key features, tips, and tricks. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I will show you how to use the most important functions in Canvas and how to correct any mistakes or errors in the render without losing too many tokens. The hand icon in the upper left corner is responsible for moving the image, but we can move the image by holding the middle mouse button. Now we will want to combine our photos. For this purpose, we click on the icon that looks like a square to grab our working part and move it to the center of the photo. Then we will scale our square to a larger size and make our photos a little smaller. So as not to use so many tokens, remember that when working at higher resolutions, I mean the working part, you use more tokens. We can change the size of the photo by grabbing the corner and dragging it. Then we will make a mask for the lower part using a brush, and we'll type in a simple prompt like ocean. It is important to select the in-paint out-paint option in the right corner when combining two images. Sometimes it happens with darker photos that they are not covered precisely, or our prompt is imprecise, then we can apply a mask to this connection and try again, or the second option is to use the eraser and fill option. As I will show in a moment, for this type of operation, an even better option is to use the eraser because we will achieve a more smooth transition between the colors in our background because it will be regenerated. As you can see, when using in-paint, out-paint, this time you can see a vertical darker shadow, which does not look very aesthetic. So now I will show you how to blend it smoothly using an eraser, we will only increase the size of our eraser in the upper part of the screen. Next, we erase our working part and click Generate. As you can see, the image has been filled and number three looks nice and is smoothly connected. When it comes to in-paint and out-paint, the best use is to create additional elements in our images based on the already created elements. For example, let's add clouds here. Isn't it nice? They were nicely selected and fit into the background, as if they were already there from the beginning. Another function is text to image, but it does not work with generative image complementation. We use it to create new images from, which we want to use. Although it is worth taking a look at the sketch to image function, it is a very cool tool thanks to which we can create cool things. Now I will draw a bridge on our island to show how it works. In the right corner, there is a default overwrite function. As you can see, it modified our main image and we didn't want that. So I turned it off to create a new bridge on our image. This is exactly the effect we expected. An interesting tool is also image to image in canvas. Thanks to this function, we can draw something and based on it, Leonardo will create an image. Now I will draw a banana to present this function. A cool solution is to draw something on a tablet or smartphone with a stylus and then create an image based on it. While at the right user panel, it is also worth knowing that input strength affects how closely our new image will follow our image and that we can change the number of generated previews in this panel as well as use alchemy. Rendering density is responsible for the density of pixels in our working field. It is worth using it if we want to generate something more precisely. A cool feature is definitely image expansion. I use it often. The effects are often very surprising. Remember to have the out paint option checked before expanding, because as you will see, with it turned off, our image stands out a lot. We definitely try to avoid this unless you have some interesting concept. Step three, examples of editing your own photo. Now we'll move on to editing my photo. This standing figure with a raised hand is me. I may not be the most handsome, but at least I have a nice t-shirt. I wanted to say that I had it until I converted it into canvas. 
please look at how simple it is. Everything we learned a moment ago can now be put to good use. But in this case, the easiest way is to choose the engine we are interested in. Draw a mask on the body elements we want to modify and boom. We look for what interests us. I am in love with cyberpunk style. That's why I wear such strange outfits. Some of them look ridiculous, but you'll have a lot of fun, especially when editing your own photo. We will now change to the Leonardo Select model and see what it has in store for us. In my personal opinion, it doesn't look too interesting in this particular case, although number one looks pretty okay, so we'll move on to my favorite Dream Shaper model. Personally, I prefer this style more. It is certainly crazier, but it fits my taste, and I think it captures the cyberpunk vibe better. Step four, edit our portrait. I will now show you how to redo your portrait. For this, we will use my face redone using the image to image function. You can see the resemblance, right? First, we will change the background and jacket. Then we will add the odd sunglasses and beard. Don't you think this jacket is a dope? I would love to wear one myself. Take a look at how I'm drawing the mask to create the sunglasses, M using a large brush to cover the eyes. Then a small one to make the joints between the glasses thus hinting to Leonardo how we'd like them to look. I'm not quite satisfied with the effect, so I use the eraser I showed earlier, which allows Leonardo to generate the glasses and my face again in this place. This time, the effect satisfies me. Now let's create a fashionable thick beard. Well, we didn't expect such deformations, so let's add a negative prompt to remind our Leonardo what we don't want in a given image. Well, now it is definitely better. You are now armed with the knowledge that will help you transform a boring holiday photo and do a lot more cool things using Canvas. The possibilities are endless. Check it out for yourself. If you learned something new or this video interested you and you liked it, please leave a like. Subscribe and turn on notifications with the bell button. How do you use Canvas? And do you have any interesting ideas for remaking a photo? Please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.